Hey there, JMS Derp here. Uh, this is the second part of uh, the cheapest Celica in the US. Uh, last episode, we got it running. It ran kind of like crap, but it did run. Um, yeah, we. Uh, it's been like two weeks since we recorded that, and we've I've fixed a couple things that it needed done uh, off camera. So over here, it was simple stuff, but the uh, the cold air intake was basically like hanging off. It was creating a massive vacuum leak. So I readjusted it and uh, tightened this down. It, it's just gonna need a new one because this hose is absolute garbage. And I also uh, put a little uh, cap on this uh, for the uh, just pressure. It was another vacuum leak. They usually come with this. I don't know where that one went, but I just uh, borrowed one from Weeb and we put one on. So now it runs a lot better. Uh, it still has a little bit of a vacuum leak, but I don't really need to mess with that right now because on this episode, we're getting rid of all this shit on the interior or on the exterior and on the interior because as you can probably see, it's dirty. It's very dirty and it just needs sweeped up, honestly. So that's going to be uh, what we're doing on this episode. And as long as we have enough light at the end, uh, might change the oil as well. But what we're going to use is this wow. bad boy. Uh, it's a Craftsman uh, uh, push or pull. Uh, it, it's basically just a vacuum. You can you can either blow or you can suck. Haha. <laughs> um, but yeah, we'll be using this uh, to clear all the crap out that's been sitting for four years. Got an extension cord, and then we also have glass cleaner and microfiber towels uh, when we need to do like the windows and everything. And we're just gonna a try and make it sort of clean and two make it stop smelling like it's been sitting under a tree for five years so yeah uh here will just be a montage of us cleaning it
So yeah, here's another problem with this uh, car. Is you open the rear hatch, you let go. Yeah. So gotta be creative here to sweep all this crap out. All right, so just sweep, swept most of this up. And as you can see, there's that little tear right there. Well, it rained yesterday. And as you can see by the reflection, there be water. So that's something that kind of need to take care of. we go. Mm -hmm. I actually have one. All right, so just emptied out the car of stuff that I found, uh, either laying underneath the seat and stuff like that. Found the uh, front bumper, uh, what would you call it? The emblem, I guess. But I actually do have one. I found a Sharpie. Uh, we're not gonna talk about that. There's an old air freshener. An old M&M's uh, stuff, and then I found the tie to work, and as you can see, uh, it's kind of moldy, just a little bit. And then over here on the other side, there's the dead wasp nest. Uh, there's the engine cover. Uh, there's the brake rotor that goes to that wheel. 
uh, the door plates, and then the uh, center console stuff and stuff that goes on the inside. So yeah. Oh, also hubcap. So yeah. Now uh, we're gonna try and uh, clean the outside until it gets too dark and we'll just pick this All right, so we're running out of daylight. Um, I'll try and come in the next few days and do some more cleaning. So I'll see you guys then. The next day. All right, so here a few days later, uh, as you can see, it just rained a little bit. Um, got the windshield clean, but obviously a lot more needs to be cleaned. So hopefully I'm going to be able to clean it before the sun goes down. We got a few hours, so yeah, let's see what happens.
Alright, so got all of the uh, outside glass cleaned. Uh, it's not perfect, but it definitely looks a lot better. It doesn't look like it's been staying outside for like too long now. Um, you can actually see through it now, and you can kind of see some of the problems. Um, ignore the uh, rear windshield wiper. I think I'm just going to take off the wiper because, as you can see, uh, it's, it's kind of mossy and moldy and shit, and I don't feel like putting that on the glass and making it dirty again. But I'm sure you can see in some angles a lot of this tint. It's either aftermarket tint. I believe it's aftermarket tint is starting to peel a lot. I don't know whether it's just really old tint or if it just wasn't applied correctly. Um, yeah, it just needs to be taken off at some point, but I'm not going to do that right now. I'm going to take probably a couple minute break. And then the real fun begins. <laughs> because we got to get all this crap off the uh, body and see how the paint actually looks when it's not covered in four to five years of dirt. And also, the windows took that many. And what was left of that uh, glass cleaner. Um, so yeah, this is gonna be fun. After a lot of work, it's how the uh, hood looks. You can see now that all the dirt, well not all the dirt, but now that most of the dirt's removed, you can see how the hood, it's got some denting right there. As you can see, right there, right there. So, I think the hood is good to use again, but definitely either has hit something like something's hit it before so i don't know if it's crunched up or not and obviously there's this big scratch right here but i will say the blue with the black actually looks really good so whenever i can get around to repainting it i might just keep it that color 
But now, on to <laughs> the rest of the car, which is gonna take some time. All right, so almost halfway done with the car. Got the entire right side done. So you can see, here's the part I have not touched, obviously. And then this is the Versus, as you can see. Ugh. As you can see, the uh, previous owner did a fantastic job paint brushing the uh, wing here. You know, it gives it this nice, uh, streaky, uh, faded look. Uh, as you can see, the blue, it's got some dirt lodged into the paint. Not that that's a, too big of a deal because there's so many paint chips and everything. And then this has no paint at all. That's just the uh, body. But, yeah. Um... You can also see there's multiple uh, hairline cracks forming in this uh, TRD side skirt. Just ignore that. Um, but it doesn't look too bad. Um, obviously, all of this is either going to need to get replaced or uh, repainted. Um, it just depends on how bad it is uh, underneath and everything. I mean, obviously the body can get repainted. That's not gonna be that big of a deal. But yeah, it's it's not too bad. I've seen a lot worse um, rust and just paint wise. But yeah, uh, I'll get back to you guys uh, when it's all done, at least on the outside, because my phone's about to die, so. Yeah, I'll see you guys then.
Alrighty, here is the end result. So I already showed you the hood. Nothing's really changed here. You can still see there's dirt buried in the paint. That's just gonna have to get sanded out. Uh, same with this. I don't know if I'm gonna keep either front fenders. That, definitely not the left one, but this one is all right. But I mean, it has, it has rust building up on it, so I don't know if it's actually going to be feasible or not. Uh, the doors are all right. I mean, you can tell the paint's not fantastic on it. I already showed you that. The roof's not terrible. Uh, it doesn't feel too bad. Uh, sunroof's fine, actually, believe it or not. It's not leaking yet. Cross my fingers, it hopefully won't. Uh, the hatch, as you can see, doesn't look too bad. The wing doesn't look great. That's not my license, so I don't really care. Uh, the tail lights, as you can see, the previous owners did not use masking tape, so I have a tinted left uh, tail light and then kind of a tinted, but it looks like it's got water damage in it. I mean, even after cleaning, it doesn't look that great. Um, there's a lot of paint work. Obviously, it needs done. This will get... I'm definitely going to fix this, hopefully. Hopefully, it's not as bad as it looks. Hopefully, everything underneath is actually all right. It's just a bunch of surface rust. Um, then on this side, there's some door rust building up. In certain areas uh paint chips everywhere of course and scratches and all that but the fender is bent in and i didn't actually notice this until i started cleaning it completely the door is bent in a little bit here too so i think it's fine like i don't think it's gonna hit when i get a new fender because i mean this fender is garbage like there, there's no ifs or buts about that but yeah it it definitely looks a little bit better now it it no longer looks like it you know sat under a pine tree for four and a half years so yeah uh thank you everyone for watching um on. so yeah thank you everyone for watching uh if you uh like what you see uh consider uh liking and subscribing i greatly appreciate it um, we didn't hit the goal on the first video, unfortunately, but, uh, the same goal remains. If I get a thousand views on this video or the previous video, um, I will reveal what I'm going to do with this car. I will eventually, but I figured might as well give you guys a challenge, see if you can meet it. And I'll tell you guys what I want to do with this car. Uh, but, uh, I don't know when I'll be back. Uh, we'll definitely be doing an oil change and just seeing what all is wrong with it. Might take that wheel off and see if uh, we can figure out why he could not get the bearing off. But yeah, uh, till next time, see ya and peace out. No, you made it worse. <laughs> I think you, you might have bent the tie rod.